little worm. You ready? Be still. <laughs> <laughs> Popping out everywhere. I know, that's what she does. I'm trying not to zip her up in there. Be still. <laughs> ready? So, new plan. Instead of keeping it simple, we're going to take the seats out and build a platform like we did before. I like, the, I like that setup. So we're working on taking the seats out right now. We got the seats out. Now we're just going to vacuum it and try to figure out what to put down to just kind of protect some of this stuff. So this is what I'm going to use to cover up everything down there. Just like an old exercise mat that was in the van. And our thinking is, these is these attachment points. We're gonna put a board here and we're going across to the other side. Do that right there. And we see we've seen other people do this. And then we're gonna make a little legs to go into those two spots. But we'll show you as we do it. We're going to Lowe's now to pick up the lumber. I wasn't here when Doug finished this. I had to go to work. So let me show you what the final frame part looks like. This thing is extremely solid. So I think I showed you the holes that were here for the uh, bottom of the seat. So he just created this. Let me see if I can get it. He sandwiched two pieces of wood there to create a leg. So we created this leg with a piece of plywood on top and bottom. This is the platform. Probably can't tell, but it's got a little taper to it. So it's gonna rest right here. It's hard to say, but see, but it's not really much of a, a lip there. Once it's all screwed down, you can see that this barely has a gap in it. This will flip down like this to support the whole bed. So I made the whole bed, it's going to be 70 inches. It's just an inch longer than Doug is tall. So it's plenty tall enough. We can still keep the seats kind of back a little bit. And I'm going to use paracord like I did before and carabiners to hook to the, the headrest. I'll show you that. Notice we took this, we let this come out a little bit more than that side because of the vent over there. So that goes straight across. With well, this one does just comes out a little bit, not much. And I am going to make pre-drill some holes. this so satisfying. I love the hatch idea. There we go. So I can get stuff in the middle. There we have it. So I'm going to leave these sides open just to make it easy to get things. And I'll put containers there or whatever. Here's the other side. I got a six inch trifold memory foam mattress. I tried a bunch of toppers and they're just too uncomfortable. It's up in my room and uh, expanding right now. Last time I made a template, I bought that brown paper that they put down like to protect floors and construction. And it was really expensive and a huge roll that I didn't need. So this time I had the idea to use a shower curtain liner for like three or four bucks. I think it should cover the area and I can cut it to perfectly fit. We got 70 inches in length. 
once that flattens out up there. So the shower curtain template should work. I think it must be exactly 70 inches. It seems like it is. So that's perfect. Maybe a tad longer. And then I'm just going to trim it over here and shape it up. Right, instead of tape, I'm just going to put something heavy on it. I want to save these cubbies for water. I'm going to cut it right here. Let me use a marker to mark it. top of the template. This is the foot of the bed. Alright, I think that came out pretty good. how this is going to work. I can adjust how long this is. So the carabiners go around the headrest. They go under the platform. So I'm going to do that on both sides. I think I have this board a little too tight. The hinge won't even go down. But maybe that's okay. What do you think, Bella? Okay, tomorrow morning the mattress will be expanded for 24 hours, so then I can cut it up and get it in here. All right, here's the full-size mattress. <sighs> Trifold mattress, six inches uh, thickness. First step is I'm going to put on a clean surface and I'm gonna label the cover because I want this to be the head of the bed. Because of the way it flips up, I want to make sure that the head of the bed flips up like that. Because as you can see, the foot of the bed has to flip under. So I don't, I don't want that for the head of the bed. I'm not gonna be flipping the middle and the foot, just the head. So I'm gonna label it with a marker. Now I'm going to unzip all the three foam pieces and lay them down in order and label them too. Each of them are individually wrapped in this kind of like a gauzy material. So I just cut it at the end like a pillowcase so I can slip it back on. Now I'm going to lay the template over it and uh, clip it on. All right, here it is with the template on it. I'm going to have to cut it as little as possible. They can... It's supposed to be four inches, but it looks more just like maybe three. I don't know. It's probably not expanded all the way, but it'll finish. So I want to cut as little as possible, so I lined up to this edge. And I racked my brain trying to figure out where I should take the four inches from. Oh, damn it. <laughs> um... And I decided to have the head, since that's going to be flipping up quite a bit, to have that the smallest piece might be handy because it'll just take up less room when you flip it up. It'll be a little bit easier to flip up. I'm just going to take a marker and go around it. Alright, that's what we're left with. Now I'm going to take each piece, I don't have a very good bread knife, but do the best I can with it, and I'll put it on a work surface so I can cut it a little bit more carefully. Oh, this one looks pretty good. That one came out pretty good. 
the tendency when you're cutting these is to kind of your knife ends up going like that so then it's bigger down here so you got to be careful that you want to try to keep it straight so it's going to fit right because this is the most important part that's where the templates from is the bottom well that's the final result so as you can see you almost have a full-size bed That's the final product. Yeah, I'm gonna put a sheet on it. I have this big blue microfiber towel I wanna bring. So I'm just gonna kinda use that as a mattress protector. So if it gets dirty, you can just wash that instead of taking the whole cover off. That's the sheet from the van. I don't have pillows in here yet. But this is, uh, it's called an adventure blanket. I've had it for years. It's kind of like waterproof. You can put it on the ground and just shake it off and it, it, uh, it's water resistant. So that way if Bella's dirty or whatever, it'll just keep everything clean. It fits over the whole bed or oh, God forbid she has an accident on the bed. And the towel is just the same thing. It keeps, it absorbs some of the dirt and water that she might bring in. Last but not least, Bella's bed. So I have these buckles here also for Bella. I, you clip this to her harness. And I think the seatbelt will still grab in an accident. So that'll keep her from going flying. And she can be comfortable right here or in her bed. Goes a certain amount of distance. What do you think, Bella? You like it? <laughs> Your hair's all staticky. Yeah, you're a good girl. Hey, yeah, good girl. What did you get into? What did you get into, huh? She's a good girl. <laughs> Bella. Oh no! <laughs> you gotta be careful. <laughs> You like it, Bella? I, I think it's safe to say it's Bella approved. You gonna do bed zoomies? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. You gonna do bed zoomies? Neighborhood watchdog on duty. <laughs>